Tay said Kizzy was trying to lick her boyfriend under style. We were on the live and she would play a game and I don't know if you know about you know about talk. And then she said she wanted to talk to Ten, which was fine with me, you know. So she said she wanted to connect with him on a musical level, but some of the stuff that she said was just it just sounded away like come on, you can't help, you can't help me with that song. Nothing is wrong with that. You want to come to my Airbnb? You want my number? You don't do stuff like that in public, and you know what the internet is going to run with. So I did not appreciate that, huh? Right in front of you. Yeah, I was. Me and him did that much, and I ended my match so he could talk to her because she had been texting. Come on, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. So I found that very disrespectful. Cause me want to do it to nobody. Listen, it, it, it come down to this. If you want to fuck a boy, I'm a stop a girl from fuck a boy in front behind me, after behind back, I can't in front of face. And whatever she wanted to connect with him, she could have do it differently. But some people just love the excitement and them something there. Me couldn't come by live and tell your boyfriend, say, oh, um, I want to get to this and I want you want to come to my Airbnb. It is some things, it's funny to some people, but it's not funny to me. I find it inappropriate what she did. And people have I mean, to say, oh, that's her. But that's not me. You don't know me like that. Don't run certain jokes with me because the internet will twist it away for it to look away. And that's well, exactly what the internet did. I didn't know that happened. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Yeah, so, and it's because you sent me the invite. That's why I even play. Because I don't mind playing against anybody. I just oh. felt like she do that and it did inappropriate because I wouldn't personally do that to anybody. She came on very, very, very flirtatious. But... I know you just not do that to people when you see people in a relationship. Go look my man behind your back. Go get the fuck behind your back. It didn't just come off like she had looked the boy and everybody said, said they look away. It they look away for true and, and that's it. So, and you know what? This is not the first time she came on the live and she didn't even say anything to me. She never said hello or anything. She totally ignored. So, mega totally ignore you too. You understand? Like it's behind me, the screen recording them go out and whatever. It did inappropriate what she do, Brit. So I don't want nobody. I said publicly, I don't want anybody to put me in a match with Kizzy. I don't know when she's a joking from when she's not joking. I'm mean, gonna run certain joke. So I got act out and everybody got things that me act out because me is this type of person. Don't joke with me. You don't know nothing about me. I'm gonna run certain joke. I'm not gonna make the girl come laugh up in my face. And then after that, yeah, yeah, somebody have a screenshot with you, run a one corner, suck my manhood. And everybody are gonna say, yeah, she did it for internet a joke run. Say, no, she have fucked the boy for two. Because I'm not gonna pick up in a boy and say, oh, my man would have never, my man have cocky, kissy have pussy. When people have cocky and pussy, anything can go on. You don't do this shit on the internet and feel like it's fucking cute. It's not cute. So if you want to fuck, you're going to look that behind closed door. You know, come do it, Jessica. When I come and I open my mouth and I drop my mouth, you're going to hear some me at the bad one. <laughs> me will never say a boy, I will never. Me not put that. My man have a cocky and kissy have a pussy. And anytime cocky and pussy meet up, fuck her can go on. Our good things, bad things, underneath the blood clot tell it. Something can go on. But she came out very flirtatious. Oh, I love you. I love you. There's nothing wrong. He's an artist. If you're a fan, baby, you're a fan. But you have to know what the fuck you're doing. You never come off like a fan. You understand? You come off like Moa. The first time you and I ever exchanged word from Tony um Jody Shea, she said, Um, K, are you the boy girlfriend of 10 point? I'ma say, yeah. And she said, Oh, I like him a lot. I don't want to mash up your life. So if that's the first conversation you ever ever have with me, it's a gonna look at weird when you come back, come do things like this. You understand? Me? I say, I like him, I think he's cute, but I don't want to mash up your life. If a girl take my man, she now mash up my life. My man, I want pussy figure there with you. So I too want to mash up my life. Me not gonna ever blame a girl, so a girl alone mash up my life. If my man go fuck you, no one say, hey, I the two want to mash up my life. I want to mash up my life, my life I go fix back. But you know, come pan national blood clot, TikTok come say, your man cute and I like him, and I don't want to mash up my life. And then a couple weeks, a week or two after you come back, a flirt brawling lit. Hey, don't make me diss your man. What you try do? And she never made that comment on Jody, K Jody Shea like that night. So she not want, she like him and him cute and she not want to mash up my life. My only for prayer, Brittany. But then you come back two weeks after I'm being flirtatious. Do you want to come to my Airbnb? Do you want my number, this, that, that? No, you don't fucking do that. I don't play around like that. You don't try to come and dish shit and go like you want to embarrass me or whatever. No. And the fact that I don't even fucking know you, bitch. Don't, don't do that. So I'm not well, going to work I'm sorry that she's like that in your feelings, but don't let her get to you like that, kid. You know?